Saudi Arabia's royal family has a big family tree, but for now, we'll just focus on three of them. The late King Abdullah, the current King Salman, and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. King Abdullah served as King of Saudi Arabia from 2005 until he died in 2015. That's when his half-brother Salman bin Abdulaziz took over the throne. After governing Riyadh for nearly 50 years, he became King of Saudi Arabia. Meanwhile, MBS was busy working for state bodies, and he eventually became Minister of Defense. Just after his father became king in 2015, Mohammed bin Salman was named head of the Crown Prince Court. And in June 2017, he was promoted to Crown Prince. Which brings us to today. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Shazwan bin Azman. So in this video, our team will present about Mohammed bin Salman should be removed from his position as ruler in Saudi Arabia. So this is the table contents of our, of our video. We will share a little bit introduction about MBS and the three main ideas. And lastly, we will share the summary and conclusion about this issue. So what is the issue? In 2015, King Salman has nominated the new crown prince of Saudi Arabia, which is Muhammad bin Naif. But then there were some complaints there were some conflicts in the royal families in 2017 and caused King Salman nominated his 31-year-old son, Muhammad bin Salman, as the new crown prince to replace Muhammad bin Naif. Since Saudi Arabia is a monarch royal family, and the crown the prince will be the next king of the country. This issue marked the biggest conflict in the history since the first ruler, King Abdul Aziz al Saud, nominated his son, instead his brother, as crown prince. And this is also the second time since the establishment of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in 1932, a grandson of Ibn Saud nominated as the future king of Saudi Arabia. MBS also has appointed as the new deputy prime minister and retained his position as defense minister, while removed Mohammed bin Ayyif from the position of interior minister. According to some analysts, this is, these are the political moves to remove all the people that against him and increase his power. Unfortunately, MBS is a not good leader because he's com he commits a lot of crimes such as jailing people that does not agree with him and killing his opposers outside the country. It will be worse if he gain more power as he will be expected as the future king after King Salman dies. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Usman Sench. So, for the first main idea, MBS jailed and killed a lot of his opposers. For the Saudi government, this is not a new thing. But recently, the number has increased. So, why is that? To answer that question, we have to talk about MBS since he is the one in charge right now. MBS raised spoil, so he didn't have to like worry about anything growing up. Because of that environment, he cannot take criticism. He cannot handle criticism because he never get criticized before. So now uh, the bar for getting punished got lower, meaning what well, that you could go to jail for the smallest reason. An example is this girl, Mujayin al hadlul She was demanding to lift the ban on women driving and also to solve the family violence in Saudi Arabia. And she was openly supporting MBS. MBS didn't like what she was asking for and he jailed her and charged her with treason. She got sexually harassed in prison and tortured. So, for the next presenter, uh, we'll talk about Jamal Khashoggi. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Yehul Yusei. For the dissidents MBS cannot reach outside the nation, he usually try to kill them if it's possible. The killing of Jamal Khashoggi is one of the biggest examples. He is a prominent Saudi critic of his country's government and is a young coin prince. He disappeared and later was confirmed to have been murdered in Istanbul, Turkey, on 2nd October 20, 2018. A variety of evidence was published by the media and showed Khashoggi was killed by groups of agents who were selected from Saudi. 
it is concluded that his killing was ordered by the coin prince, according to the U.S. intelligence agencies. Even nine days later, the Saudi government sent another team to clean the mess and cover up the killing. This event ended with 11 people's trials in Riyadh court, and MBS was not sanctioned. Overall, he doesn't respond well to criticism and implement some extreme approaches. The next presenter will talk about the main idea too. So for the second main idea, MBS created unnecessary problems with different countries. In the essay, I mentioned uh, five to six countries, but since we don't have time to talk about all of them, I'm going to focus only on the two that did most damage to Saudi Arabia, which are Yemen and Turkey. In 2015, MBS decided to launch a war in Yemen. The situation there is a little bit complicated. And so I'm going to try to simplify some of the stuff there. So you have a group called the Houthi. They're trying to take over Yemen. The problem now that this group are supported by Iran and Saudi Arabia hate Iran. So that's why they decided to go to war to stop them from taking over. However, uh, why the war is still going? after seven years. The reason is because of this guy right here. He's the Minister of Defense of Saudi Arabia. Even though he doesn't have any experience in that field, there were rumors about how he used to go to his generals and give them instruction on what to do on the field. And of course, none of them were brave enough to like disagree with his plans, which is why now the Houthis is, is uh, not only defending like he, he used to in in the beginning, they also attack in Saudi Arabia. This war did cost Saudi Arabia a lot of money and give them a bad reputation because what they did in Yemen. So next is the killing of Jamal in Turkey. So the reason why the incident became as big as it is, is because of this guy, Erdogan, the president of Turkey. So he and Jamal knew each other before the incident so when he found out what happened to Jamal from the Turkish intelligence, he made sure to let everyone know who was behind the, the crime, which made the MBS reputation worse than ever. Next, uh, the next presenter will talk about the third main idea. For the third main idea, MBS broke most of his promises. To begin with, as rulers, it's not strange that they always have some beautiful words. For example, promise the people that having a better life, guaranteeing something like freedom of speech, but seldomly achieve those. Differently, MBS launched a great anti-corruption action in 2017. Many top people, including royal families, are arrested. In fact, they even cater to MBS benefits only, instead of eliminating corruption. He mainly managed to remove the potential rivals from the royal family. As a tricky politician, MBS killed three birds with one stone. Not only clear the threatens from the royal family, but also raised a large amount of money, around 100 billion, as well as build a seemingly good figure in front of the public. As we all know, Saudi is famous for its abundant oil reserve and also mainly support the country's economy. Nowadays, the situation of oil is not like a long time ago. The price of oil is decreasing and the country's economy is deteriorating. Moreover, 
millions of job opportunities are desired. In 2016, MBS launched the ambitious plan, Vision 2030. In order to reduce Saudi's reliance on oil and diversify the economy, some planned activities like transforming some Saudi Aramco stakes of for industrial usage, building funds to invest in other assets, providing jobs for females. However, this ambitious plan is not realistic and has many obstacles in the current national condition. It is radical and it offends conservative groups. In summary, MBS made a lot of promises, but few of them are achieved. Next presenter, we'll talk about the conclusion of our topic. In a conclusion, MBS should be removed from his position as crown prince. Even though the citizens of Saudi Arabia are happy at first because of his fresh idea for development, such as the driving license for the, for the woman. But then, he, he, he has gained a lot of power, and it's in, it is not good in such an autocratic system, and it makes Mohammed bin Salman misuse the power. The government of Saudi Arabia needs to restructure all the policies and the system of the government for the future of the Saudi Arabia. From the Islamic perspective, there was a hadith from Sunan Abu Dawud, book 32, number 4324, said about the wrongdoing, as we need to prevent the wrongdoing and make a report where we see it. As Muhammad bin Salman is not a good model as Khalifa, since the, the Kaaba is the under supervision of Saudi Arabia, we need a good leader to take care of, the, of this good place. And these are all the references for our research. And think that's all from us. Thank you. And we want to credit to Slides Go, Flaticon, and Free Pick for the slides. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.